Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studio. The last time we learned the most important things you need to know about your dashboard. Today we're going to learn how to actually study a course, taking quiz, doing your assignments, question and answers, and all of that. Okay. So to get to your course, you can either get to your course by clicking on this uh, the course recent course uh, availability. The course that shows in the course progresses are courses that you have started already or courses you have attempted to start. Okay. All courses, both the ones you have attempted to start and the ones you have not started already, will be in, in the enrolled section, okay? Let me zoom that closely. It will be in the enrolled section. So here you're going to see all the courses you have actually purchased, whether you have started the course or not. Active course is still the same as the, course, the one we just saw in the dashboard now. Then the completed course, you are going to see all courses you have completed and the ones you have received certificates for, okay? If you complete all modules in a course is assumed that that course in general is completed and you'll be graded for that particular course and if you qualify for certificates automatically a certificate will be mailed emailed to your mailbox now we get to the dashboard we can start learning from here or we can start learning from the other end so let's click on this to start learning here you can see this convert to continue learning because we have actually started this course before now so all you need to do is click on continue learning so you're going to see all the courses. You might be wondering why are mine ticked blue by the right corner behind the timeline? And I will answer you that these courses are courses that I've completed or lectures I've completed and I've marked them as completed. Now, it's important that as you're done with every course, mark that particular course as completed. It will show the progress of your course. As you can see from here, we can find, let me zoom very closer can find the progress of this course. We have taken five lectures out of 59 in general for this particular course. So we are 8% ahead of our course. Okay. So now we understand that we need to learn how can we now mark a course as completed. A course that you've marked as completed, you can't be able to mark it as completed anymore. Okay. But a course that is not completed, you can be able to mark it as completed from this particular end. Okay. When you're done watching that course, let me zoom closely from here. You can then mark that course as completed from the top right corner of your learning system. So that is also out of the way. Okay. Now this is the thumbnail. This is the icon for courses. And this is the icon for quizzes. Let me zoom closely too. And this is icon for assignments. So wherever you see this icon is an assignment. Wherever you see this is a quiz. And wherever you see this is a video course. Okay. Now you can collapse and expand any of these accordion. These are called accordions, okay? Accordions, you can expand them to see the courses. If you are on mobile device, you are going to see, the, see this as a, an hamburger icon at the top right corner. You click on it to expand. You can still expand them to learn any course, okay? When you are done with any course, for instance, you are done with this particular course and want to mark it as completed, you can find the completed at the bottom of that particular section. Mark as complete. So we are done understanding the web version and mobile version. So now let's start learning. When you start learning a course, for instance, we click on this course to start learning. Some persons complain that sometimes the course uh, quality is too poor. The video quality is very poor for them. That is because of the network server in your uh, uh, network for your network, network provider on your device. Okay. So to fix this issue, all you need to do is to click on the gear icon at the bottom part of this video, click on it and you're going to see the quality section. This is the same as YouTube, click on the quality section and click on 720p. If you have enough data, you can click on the 180 p If you want 10 p if you want to enjoy the highest quality of the video, but this is okay for what we want. Okay. 720p, we retain this, the quality of this video at a very clean uh, standard. Okay. So you'll be able to watch it, but whenever the network is slow, it might pause a little, but if your network is stable to an extent, you don't need, you don't have any problem. Okay. So that is how to fix that particular problem. And that one is solved. So now we are done with this course. We mark the course as completed. When you mark a course as completed, it will reload and that course will be marked automatically as completed. Why it is not marked as completed? Let's click on the next course and we are going to see it marked as completed. Fine. So when you mark a course as completed, sometimes if network is too slow, you're not going to see the sign. All you need to do is to reload the page or click on the next course. Automatically, you're going to find that as marked. Next thing you need to know is if you have any question about any lecture, you can do ask that question from this particular part. Click and ask your question and I will reply you immediately for that particular course or that, that particular lecture, I mean. 
So now the next thing, let's start to take our quiz. So to take your quiz, let's go to the next quiz. We're going to start with this interactive quiz from here. Let's go back to that one. Okay. So we're going to start do this quiz. Now, two things you need to note about the quiz section. You can only try a quiz twice. Okay. You can only attempt a quiz. Attempt means you can try it. If you fail the first one, you can try the quiz again. So you'll be able to see this button once. You can see this button twice. Okay, you can only see the first time when you want to start a quiz. Let me show you what it feels like when you want to start a quiz. So when you want to start a quiz, you're going to see this quiz description and then you're going to see the start a quiz. When you click on start a quiz, you will be led to this particular uh, platform where you can start learning. Let me show you how, what the platform looks like. So let's start a quiz. And we can start answering our questions now. So some questions are like this. You click on them, submit. Some are true and false. You can click them and submit. Some are image questions you need to answer. They are at random. You click and submit. Some are questions you need to rearrange them according to their hierarchy. Okay, ascending to descending order, whatever. So you click on submit. Some of them you need to drag them into their uh, uh, gutter. They call this gutter. Gutter is a space for you to plug in stuffs. Okay, you can drag them to their gutter. You can drag them to their gutter. So we have this number one, number two, number three. If it is accurate according to this particular hierarchy, then you click on submit. If you want to change a particular one, maybe you want to use this for the number two now, you can do that again by dragging this over to this one to replace it. Then you can drag the next one over to the other one. Okay. When you click on submit, this is the last question. When you click on submit on the last question, this is what happens. It takes you to the dashboard where we can actually see our progress. Okay. As you can see, we failed this course. We got zero, zero of the answer. We, we got zero of the answer. This, this doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> so we got zero of the answer and this is the correct answers are five. Okay, so we failed this course because we didn't score up to that. But in this previous one, we scored five and we failed one. Now, if you score up to five, it means your answers are now, uh, I'll call that 80%, okay? Because 20 divided by 100 or 100 divided by five, okay? That's 20. Okay, so now since we have this as four, we pass this course because we are above 70%. So if you are below 70%, you fail the course, which means if, you, if the questions are five and you failed three and passed two, you failed that course because you got 40%. You get the point now. Even if the questions are five and you passed three, you got 60%, you still failed that course. So it must be one that you fail for you to actually pass a course of five questions or if it is six questions you have to calculate and know what you scored but you're going to be shown whether you failed or passed from this particular area you're going to see the it bubble from this area for you to know whether it's passed or failed now if you fail the course you can click on detail or pass the course you can click on detail to see the detail of this course to know actually why you failed one you failed or why you passed one you passed as you can see from here this is the given answers this is the given answers all this column are the given answer this column are the correct answer given answer means these are the answers you actually imputed and these are the correct answers so it means we have this correct is correct we have this correct 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 but this one we failed it the given answer is the one you gave is heading text and image element form field heading text image element but the correct answer is heading text image element and form field okay so this is how you know your answers at this drop down here if there if this is a kind of quiz that i provided some information for you to fill in you're going to see the evaluation details from here i'm going to type in the evaluation and you're going to find it from this drop down but i don't think we'll be doing that for the quiz that will be left for the assignment so you get how to understand this is just it about the quiz okay when you're done with the quiz don't forget to mark it as completed if you didn't see the completed box just click on next from the below part of this particular video okay so when we are done with that you can move on to the next which is the uh, assignment so instead of clicking the assignment from here let's click on next from the bottom part so we are moved to our assignment to start answering our question very important thing for you to note, okay? Before you submit your assignment, this is how the format to submit an assignment. Write the title of that particular module. Look at what module means. Module means the title. This one, like getting started, introduction to what web design, hosting and domain. These are the title that I want you to write. That's the first thing you're going to write when you want to submit an assignment. The next thing you need to do is to write the question, okay? Question number one, you write the question title. Okay, what is the question of number one? Write the question title and under it, you can write your answer. I wonder why this is so skipped. You can write your answer and then you can start typing your answers. 
okay you get a point this is how to actually submit this particular area you can make this bold if you want to make it bold you can make this one italic if you want to make it italic you can underline a text you can color a text whatever color you want to color it with just style the things the way you want just make this look as though you are a designer you get the point so this is if you want to make a, a, a text bolder than the others click on it and click on this drop down no not that i don't think they have hierarchy okay paragraph you can select on the heading style you can make it bolder or leave the rest smaller so those are the basic things when you're done with that if it is an assignment that requires you to submit an image for instance our wireframing assignment you need to do that from here if it's an assignment that requires you to submit a link just come here paste in the link from here okay just paste in the link wherever it is necessary and you're good to go okay so if it's an assignment that requires image click on the image section and you can select the image you want to use open it and the assignment is now ready now before you submit an assignment make sure to copy your assignment details your assignment article copy it now this is important because sometimes your network might be slow and we hit on assignment submit and you think this submit it didn't actually submit because network have a bridge okay so you have to wait for like 24 hours and if i didn't evaluate that assignment do not move to the next course you can mark all of the lectures as completed but do not move to the next module until that particular previous module is marked is actually evaluated and i actually permit you to move to the next module if you see it as passed or failed you can move to the next module you get the point now so those are the basic things you need to know about this particular part okay so when you click on submit just wait for it now let's assume we submitted this assignment you're going to see the assignment progress at the top so you can come back here anytime in the day to check your assignment if it's now pending to check your assignment progress if i mark this assignment if you didn't receive an email you must receive an email okay but if you just want to come back here and check it, you can come back here refresh this page you're going to see it as passed or failed no more pending okay so that is how to actually and if there are descriptions i give you are still going to see them here you are still going to see your assignment in your dashboard which we are going to get into in a moment from now so now we are done with submitting assignment it's automatically mark itself as what completed i think that's the same thing with the quiz it's only the lectures you need to mark manually so when we are done with that you can what click on continue lesson okay continue lesson will move you to the next module or you can manually come here click on this and click on the next class to start learning that particular course i hope i made myself very clear this is very very understandable very understandable when you mark all of the courses as completed to the last one you it means that that particular course itself when you mark all modules completed to the last one it means all courses have been what completed and if all courses are completed you'll be emailed your certificate to your mailbox now let's get back to our dashboard and see what it feels like in the progress bar for our course first we need to see if you get to the website and you're logged in you are going to see your progress bar for that course you see we have practiced we have actually completed seven courses out of 59 okay and this is the percentage we have completed if we get back to our dashboard we are still going to see the same in that particular course so every course have their own progress bar to show us our progress our, our progress for that particular course okay now assignments i think we can be able to see our question and answer if you ask any question and i answered you can come back here click on this and you can see the question and answer from this particular area okay quiz attempts you can see your quiz attempts from now from here you can see your, as long as you have practiced one or two quiz you can see your quiz attempts the one you have failed and the one you have passed like i said before earlier before now you can only try a quiz twice if the quiz is first one you failed the second one you passed you are good to go but if you failed the first one and failed the second one you can't attempt that quiz again automatically the attempt button or start quiz button will disappear okay so all you need to do is to move to the next course and you, I, I pray you are going to get the next quiz so this is everything you need to know about this particular platform and this particular how to start a course how to learn a course and if you have any question about this do let me know in the comment section below of this uh, comment section of this video I say comment section below of this video comment section below this video okay once again my name is manuel from kata studios i do have a wonderful day